When I say the words art style, what comes to mind? Do you picture something inherent like an extension of your personality? Or do you picture something intentionally learned? I, like most artists, want my own art style. But also, like most artists, I haven't had one distinct style the whole time I've been making art. I've seen some say that you eventually find your style, but mine has changed several times in the last decade. I've also seen some people say that you can intentionally choose to build a style by studying your favorite artists. I decided that for this episode, I was going to try and start developing a distinct style and gave myself two weeks to do it. I didn't think I'd have like a fully developed, unique, never seen before style in this episode alone, but I did want to lay the groundwork for a potential style in the future. To be clear, I'm actually going to be splitting the style portion of the series into multiple episodes. This one is the drawing style episode, so I won't be focusing on rendering or colors as much as actual sketches and line work. Before I started this episode, I sat down and wrote out my expectations. I thought I would eventually end up with a style that sort of resembled my drawing style from around 2014, which is when I really got into drawing in a particular way. If you don't already know, for my sketchbook tour, I started out trying to achieve like an anime art style. Although I didn't want to recreate this exact style, I did miss the more illustrated look it had, and I wanted to emulate that a bit in my own style. I also wrote that I thought I'd take lots of inspiration from semi-realistic art, but that I wouldn't try to actually have that style. This was the style that I tried to pick up a couple years later when I was around 16. Honestly, I never really developed it well, especially because it showed me that I was lacking some of the fundamental knowledge I needed in order to get there. But generally, I knew I liked some of the features in a semi-real style and expected that I'd come out of this episode applying them to my own drawings. So here are some examples of what I've been working with most recently. These drawings weren't really intentionally following style, I just made them because I wanted to. The thing is that I wasn't sure if these were really what I wanted these drawings to have, style-wise. I kept asking myself while I was drawing each of them. So that's why I decided that I would analyze some of the drawings I really like from other artists to see if there were other sorts of features I wanted to try out. Before I even started this series, I actually made myself a Pinterest board full of the character drawings from other artists that I wanted to take inspiration from. So I thought that for this episode, I'd start by looking at these drawings I pinned and see what the common styles and features were. Of course, the vast majority of these fit into multiple styles in some ways, but I wanted to know what I seemed most drawn to. It turned out that I could break the styles down into a couple different categories, which were anime, semi-realistic, or cartoon slash illustration, with the anime style being the biggest chunk. I then took myself to a video tutorial about how to find your art style for any other tips I could use. I got three actionable tips that I could use in this episode, which were add aspects of styles you like to your own, have multiple styles, and leave your comfort zone. Those first two really stood out to me, so I decided to write a list of elements I saw in the styles I liked and the styles I've had. I hadn't considered trying to have multiple styles before, but since watching that video, I've thought that having a secondary or even tertiary style that are distinct from the primary one could be fun. But the main features that stood out to me from these lists were big sparkly eyes with lots of eyelashes, as well as semi-realistic noses. So with this information, I went back to Pinterest and I selected a few examples of each style that I wanted to try out and saved them. I decided to even branch out a bit to a couple of styles I didn't see a lot on my inspiration board, which were chibi and a sort of Disney-esque drawing. I got two or three examples of each of these styles, put them in Photoshop, and made myself a drawing exercise that involved tracing the original drawing and then trying to recreate it on my own. I saw this exercise as a piece of advice from another video that I will link in the description. 
unrelated to art style, but I felt that it was a good one for this purpose. I will say that these are perfect examples, and I think it's hard to really find perfect examples of art styles that aren't at least partially influenced by other styles. Generally, I wanted to see what I liked or disliked in each style, and whether or not I would like to explore that style further for this exploration. So here were my experiences with each. The chibi style. This was actually fairly new to me, even though it felt very familiar since it shares a lot with anime styles. Of course, the main difference here is the anatomy, but some artists also further simplify other things like the facial features. This was hard, actually. I really thought it wouldn't be, since it felt more simplistic. But because it was a whole new set of proportions and shapes, I was definitely not used to drawing the style and struggled with it a fair bit. Of course, different artists use different proportions to the body in this style, but I found it especially hard not to stick to the more realistic proportions I've been learning in the last while. That all being said, I really liked this one. It has the things I like about an anime style, like the sparkling eyes, but it adds an extra cuteness to the drawings that I feel like really fits in with certain contexts. I really wanted to explore the style more after this. I thought that it was a fun and enjoyable experience. Anime style. As I said before, this was my original style inspiration from like 2011 to 2014 or 15. I wanted so badly to be that girl who made really cute anime drawings that were also kind of stunning. And as I set out in my initial expectations, I wanted to go back to those roots and incorporate them into my current style. This was actually a little challenging as well, to be honest. It's been a while since I've used the more typical anime features and proportions, including the eyes, the nose, and the jawline, but I definitely like drawing the eyes and I could see myself using them in combination with other features. But similar to the chibi style, I was tempted to gravitate back towards the more realistic features and proportions I'd been using before. For sure, I wanted to continue exploring the style because I really liked it. Cartoon slash illustration style. This one surprised me the most. I only did two of these. One that was closer to a Disney type style and one that was someone else's illustration style. I think this is a hard style to explore because it is so, so vast but I needed to simplify it for this process, so that's why I only chose these two images. Anyway, I wasn't expecting to really like this style as much because I haven't gravitated toward it in my life almost at all, but I wanted to give it a try just to explore outside of my comfort zone a little bit. And honestly, I thought that both of these styles were pretty fun to draw. They have some of the simple elements I like, and I didn't really find them all that challenging compared to the other ones, but in the end, I still didn't feel very personally connected to them. I ultimately chose not to continue with this style for this particular video because of that, but I will probably experiment it with more in the future because I did enjoy it. Semi-realistic style. This was probably the most surprising one to me. As I mentioned earlier, I once tried to pursue this style, I even quit the anime style I had to commit to this one. Of course, this is a bit complicated since there were other factors, but this generally led to me not drawing so much anymore. I still think it's a beautiful style, and I love looking at others' drawings that suit it. However, not only did I find this one to be the most challenging to recreate, I also didn't enjoy it very much. It doesn't satisfy the desires that I have in my character drawings, so it's not really worth the effort for me. I think back when I thought this is what I wanted to do, I had actually confused what I liked looking at with what I liked doing. Needless to say, I did not continue experimenting with this style for this episode because it was not what I was looking for. Once I had determined which styles I wanted to continue forward with, I chose to go back to those drawings I was using and practice some of the elements that I liked the most once again. For chibi, this meant the bodies. Well, for anime, this meant the jawlines. And of course, the eyes were important for both of those. And then once I felt I had done that a fair bit, I got some eye reference sheets from Pinterest and did the same exercise. Tracing and then recreating. Since the anime style is so broad, I wanted to try a few different styles of eyes and generally see what I liked best. In the end, I really ended up going back to the eyes that most resembled those that I used to draw in the beginning. Again, it's something about the sort of big, sparkly look that I like. It's not that I'd use that 100% of the time, but probably pretty often. 
And it's been a while since I've really tried to use this kind of look, so I really wanted to get it down again. I also gave chibi poses another try a couple times before moving on to creating my own drawings from scratch. These were definitely tricky poses, and I think it's going to take some time before I'm comfortable with drawing this way. Next, I decided to further this little exploration by choosing one of my old characters and drawing them in both of these styles that I chose. So this meant one chibi drawing and one anime type drawing. The chibi drawing was maybe not completely from scratch, I chose a pose reference from that sheet that I was already familiar with, and then I did import the sketch that I had on that sheet to this file to check the shapes and proportions. I cannot stress enough how tricky this was for me to not just draw the body the way that I normally would draw it. But once I had that down, I added the unique features of this character, and then I aligned the whole thing. Similarly with the anime drawing, I used a reference for the body, though not one that I had used before. In hindsight, I used a reference that was already a drawing and not a photo. I think that's mostly fine, especially because I wanted to have proportions and shapes that were closer to an anime style than realism. But I also have been so used to using actual photos lately that I felt like I was restarting a process a little bit. However, I was quite happy with how the body eventually looked on this one. I will say that I didn't really feel satisfied with these two drawings. I don't think that's necessarily because of the styles but more because I felt like I was just copying what I saw and they still weren't personal. Originally, this is where I was going to end the episode. I was only supposed to take two weeks to work on it and I was planning on having it posted earlier than I will have by the time you're seeing this. I even went as far as filming this whole script for this video so I could start editing. But later that night, I decided that it didn't feel complete enough as an episode. So I gave myself an assignment like I did in the previous ones, which was to draw that same character but try to stylize it more than I had in the previous drawings. Those previous drawings were actually supposed to be the sort of assignment in this episode, to be honest, but I kind of felt like I was just mimicking the kinds of features I was practicing and not adding much of my own spin on it. I actually kind of had a moment that night before I decided to make this drawing where I was just drawing different types of features I saw on Pinterest, but then I remembered what I wrote earlier about wanting to have something reminiscent of my 2014 style, so I drew some eyes that kind of resembled that, which then accidentally became a whole face, and I decided I liked how that looked and I wanted to try doing that digitally. So that's what this drawing is. I did color it at the end, which I will show you when we get there, but I'm not going to show the process of coloring because this episode is only about drawing. I will say that this went fairly smoothly though. I'm finding that when I make digital drawings, there's always an awkward stage. 
Between lining and starting to render the image, I think it's mostly because when the sketch is gone, it looks flat again, so it feels kind of weird until the shadows are added. I definitely don't know what I'm doing when it comes to rendering digitally though, to be honest with you. I think that's going to be one of the next things I try to tackle in this series. But regardless, I finished this drawing to the best of my current abilities, and I personally really like how it turned out. For fun, here's a little comparison between this drawing and a very similar drawing of the same character from last year before I started learning how to draw characters again. I like how this one turned out to kind of mimic parts of that old style I talked about, which really made it feel like it was my drawing and not just a drawing I made. But even though I'm still learning, I still want to be making completed drawings along the way that I feel personally connected to because I feel like those are the best ones to look back on and see progress in.